Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and welcome to Fail Friday, the series in which I fix your baking fail, my baking fail, or I tell you how to avoid a fail. And today we're going to be going over a very quick list of do's and don'ts when it comes to baking simple cakes for cake decorating specifically. My friend has requested that I make her a chocolate cake, so I'm making chocolate cake today, but all of these tips are applicable to any flavor of cake. So first, let's talk cake pans. Fat Daddy-O's is probably one of my favorite, favorite brands. Reason being is it has a nice, strong bottom, and I find everything bakes really, really evenly in it. This company offers a variety of sizes and types. The ones with removable bottoms are my favorite. The other cake pan brand that I've used as well is Wilton, and I do own quite a few of these, but I'm not as big of a fan because there's a lot of indenting going on here. When I bang my cakes out, they just bend so easily, and I find they don't bake as evenly, but they still do the job. I bought those out of convenience though because Wilton is more available to me, but honestly, Fat Daddy-O's is the way to go if I was going to rebuy all of my pans. Now what I wanna do is I wanna put some butter on there and I did that with a little bit of plastic wrap and I generally like to reuse parchment as well. So you'll notice that I did reuse that from a different project. I always put a piece of parchment on the bottom. Now if you wanna be really, really perfect with this, you can also trace your parchment and make it a perfect circle. Usually I do this if I'm using an unfamiliar cake recipe and I'm not sure how sticky it's going to be. Now I use butter because it adds a really nice flavor to my cakes, but if you are worried about browning or you're not sure how the recipe is going to react with the butter, then I would use shortening or some sort of cooking spray because you won't get a whole lot of browning with this at all. You'll also notice that some recipes call for flour to be put on the pans. I never ever flour my pans. Now I've been giving you a lot of tips on what to do throughout this video, but now it's time for a don't. And if you're making a lot of cakes and you're making them in big batches, let's say, it's really important that you don't just leave your batters sitting out. It's super, super important that you give it a good whip again before you put them into the cake pans. It's also really important too that you don't overmix your batter. You'll notice that in the beginning of my video, I just kind of mixed until everything was incorporated and then I stopped. Now that smaller cake pan there, I definitely could have filled this up more, but I just ran out of batter. So you wanna hit about that line. Each of these is filled about three quarters of the way. Then you are going to put these cakes into the oven and you wanna make sure to put it in at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. A lot of recipes call for 350, but 325 is what's going to get those decorated cakes, which tend to be a little bit thicker to bake more evenly. To check if cakes are ready, I like to give them a little bit of a tap and if they don't jiggle, they're generally ready. However, this can happen where things are a little bit loose still. Whenever I see that much left on the toothpick, I know it's gonna be about three more minutes. One last do for you that I have for the baking process is don't open that door before the 20 minute mark because every time you open it, you lose that heat. Now, if you've prepared your pans properly, they should just slide out super, super easily like that. And then you can just take off the parchment paper. Now, sometimes I will just leave my cakes overturned like this so that they remain super flat and we don't have to waste any cake whatsoever. Now this is why these are my favorite type of cake pans. They slide out super, super easily and I didn't need to use any extra parchment or anything. And I find the baking on the bottom is also super, super even. My final little tip is that you saw I didn't really use a knife or anything to run along the edge. Now, if you are finding that things are sticking a bit, maybe you didn't put enough cooking spray or shortening or butter, then just use something that is not made out of metal as this really damages your cake pans. I apologize for my lighting here. It's a little bit off, but I do want to talk about that little browning on the edge that you see. This just adds a really kind of a rich flavor, I find. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys.